So you've been using Google Chrome for years. It's fast. It's familiar. It gets the job done. But here's the truth nobody tells beginners. Chrome isn't the best browser for you anymore. Not in 2025. Why? You'll see exactly why in a minute. But first, what if there were browsers out there that gave you better speed, more privacy, and smarter features, all while using less of your computer's memory? There are. And today, you're going to get the full breakdown of 10 browsers that outsmart Chrome in ways you probably never expected. This is your beginner's guide. No tech jargon, no assumptions. Just straight up help for real people like you. Let's start with something surprising. Every second you have Chrome open, it's using more memory than it should. That's not an opinion. It's been benchmarked, tested, and felt by anyone who's watched their laptop fans spin like a jet engine while Chrome eats up RAM like it's hungry for blood. But there's something else, something most beginners don't notice. Chrome tracks you. A lot. So the question becomes, what can you use instead? Let's talk about your first true upgrade. This is Mozilla Firefox. Firefox does something Chrome doesn't. It protects you. Aggressively. It blocks trackers the moment you start browsing. That means fewer ads following you. Less data collected about you more peace of mind. And it's customizable. You can make Firefox look and behave exactly the way you want it to. But here's the weird twist. There's an even more private version of Firefox that most people have never even heard of. We'll get to that one in just a few minutes. Let's talk speed now. Meet Brave. Brave is built for people who are done with trackers, pop-ups, and ads that slow down every page. It blocks all of them. By default. Out of the box. That's why it feels lightning fast. If you've ever been annoyed by ads in YouTube videos or news sites, Brave isn't just a browser. It's a relief. But it's not just about blocking. Brave is secure, and it gives you control without asking for your data. Still, privacy isn't the only thing people care about. Some of you just want a browser that looks good, feels modern, and helps you multitask like a pro. There's a browser for that too. Arc doesn't look like any browser you've used. It's like the browser reinvented, built from the ground up for productivity. Arc lets you manage tabs visually, keep your tools in one place, and even multitask with side-by-side -side views. It's the kind of browser that makes you rethink how you use the internet. Is it for everyone? Maybe not. But if you're tired of clutter and you want to feel organized while browsing, Arc gives you a brand new experience. Now, let's say you're more about flexibility. You want power features, total control, and a browser that can bend to your will. This one's for you. Vivaldi. This browser isn't just customizable, it's ultra customizable. You want tabs on the side? Go ahead. Built-in notes? Done. Keyboard shortcuts? Every single one can be personalized. There's even a privacy focus with no built-in tracking. Vivaldi is for those who want to turn the browser into a productivity machine. But what if you don't want any of this complexity? What if you just want something that works, is optimized for your devices, and doesn't mess around? If you're on Apple, you already have it. Safari may not be flashy, but it's efficient. It's tuned perfectly for Apple devices. That means longer battery life, better performance, and seamless sync with iPhone or iPad. Safari's privacy tools are baked in too. It's not trying to wow you with wild features. It's just solid, stable, and simple. But maybe you want more. You want a built-in VPN. You want to download videos. You want it all. That's exactly where the next browser shines. Opera gives you features other browsers hide behind extensions. VPN, it's built-in. Ad blocker, built-in. Even turbo mode for loading pages faster on slow connections and a battery saver when you're low on power. Opera feels like a tech toolbox you didn't know you had. It's one of the most underrated browsers on this list. But there's still one more twist. Privacy taken to the extreme. Let's open that door. This is Tor Browser. Tor doesn't just block trackers, it hides your location entirely. It uses a network of encrypted relays to anonymize your traffic. If you need real privacy for research, activism, or just peace of mind, Tor is in a league of its own. But it's not fast. And it's not meant to be. Tor is about one thing. Staying anonymous. If that matters to you, nothing else compares. Still, what about something simpler? 
something fast, familiar, and private, but without going full spy mode. There's a browser that combines all three, LibreWolf. Imagine Firefox, stripped of telemetry, stripped of data collection, repackaged purely for privacy. LibreWolf removes everything that could compromise your anonymity. No fingerprinting, no hidden tracking. It's lean, it's quiet, it doesn't even connect to Google. For people who care about every detail of their digital footprint, LibreWolf is where they go. But let's end with something a little unexpected. What if the Chrome experience could be safer? That's what this next browser attempts. Microsoft Edge might surprise you. Yes, it's based on Chromium, the same engine as Chrome, but with tighter privacy settings, smoother Windows integration, and less resource usage. And here's the kicker. If you love how Chrome works, but want something a little more private and a lot more optimized, Edge is a great bridge between performance and protection. But now you know the truth. There are at least 10 browsers out there doing things Chrome can't, or won't. So what do you do? Here's how you choose. If you want privacy, start with Brave, Firefox, or LibreWolf. If you want speed, Brave and Edge win. If you love customization, Vivaldi and Arc are waiting. And if you just want it all, Opera is the hidden gem most people overlook. Here's what beginners miss. You don't have to stay stuck with what came pre-installed. And you definitely don't need to keep using the browser that chews up your memory and sells your data behind the scenes. The web has changed. You have better options now. Pick one. Try it for a week. You'll never look at Chrome the same way again.